uh, hey kids, here's how to make a sextant like this one with just paper and pencil. <clears throat> you don't need, even need tape or scissors. If you have them, that'll help, but you don't need them. All you need is paper and a pencil or a pen. Take some paper, find a bowl or a plate that's a little bit smaller than the paper, hold it down hard, and then hold your pencil straight up and down and go all the way around. Now you want to push really hard so that you can rip it on this line and without scissors. So I'm going to go around a bunch of times and you can see it makes a really dark line. So I'm pushing hard all the way around. Then you just pull with your fingers, put one your thumb one side one on one side of the line and one on the other. And then you can rip it right on the line. If it starts to go off the line, stop and go back. Take go slow. Here's one that I'm almost done with. Okay. So you can see you just rip it right along the lines. Then pick off any little excess. Oops, try not to rip it. Make it as round as you can. Okay. Now you want to find the exact middle. How are you going to do that? Fold it in half. Make sure it's perfectly lined up as best you can. If you have scissors, of course, use the scissors to cut around to cut the line even smoother. But this is how to do it without even without scissors. All you need is paper and a pencil or pen. Okay, then fold it exactly in half again. Notice I'm very careful to line it up. There it is. Now I have a quarter of the circle. All the way around is 360. Now I have the exact center. Take a sharp pencil, poke a hole in the center. 360 all the way around. 180 is half of a circle. Half of 180 is 90. That's a quarter. Now we're going to fold it again. Half of 90, 45 degrees. One more time. Now you have 45 degrees. Now fold it again. You have 22 and a half. Make sure you fold it right to the tip. Okay. There you go. Now push really hard so you can see the lines. You can even fold it back upon itself if you like. Fold it the other opposite direction. Fold it all the way to the tip. And that way, you make sure you can see your lines. Now, when you open it up, you'll have lines like that. Move the paper out of the way. Notice, now I'm going to make marks on each one of these creases. like that. <clears throat> so it looks like that. Call this center one, zero. Call this one, 90. And the other end, 90. What's half of 90? You fold it in half. Right in the middle there is going to be your 45 degrees. What's half of 45? About 22 and a half. Okay. 45 plus 22. And that'll be about 67. We're just round. Remember, it doesn't have to be 
exact because each one of these degrees is oops, that's a circle. A little circle above means degrees. Okay, so now it'll look like this. Okay. Now all you have to do is get a piece of string. You can use a piece of you can use a piece of um, dental floss, or you can use thread, or you can use a shoelace. You can take a piece of rope and untwine it. Cats are going crazy. Take the string, poke a hole in a piece of paper, or just a piece, of, a small piece of scrap paper. Push the string through, tie a knot. Push the string through the sextant that you just made, the circle that you just made, and then pull it. Pull it through. Okay. Now it catches on the inside, and then the other end comes out through the center. Tie a piece of string. Do that again. Poke a little hole with your pencil. Push the string through. Tie it on like this. See how it's tied on? Tie it onto a little piece of string. You can crumple that up into a ball if you want. And now you can see the string dangles down, the little piece of string dangles down and connects to your sextant like that. I used paper clips. I had some paper clips and some, and some tape, so I used a couple paper clips. And then now, this you can tell the top of my sextant is parallel to the um, tabletop and then when I tilt <clears throat> when I tilt the sextant, you can see you can read the degrees right there. I also I made a tube. I wrapped a piece of paper around a pencil. I took the pencil out and then I taped the tube onto the top. But if you don't have tape, don't worry. It works just fine like this. You can still point it at the sun and look at the shadow. Now, you want to make more lines. If you want to make more lines, watch halfway in between 22 and a half and zero. I'll make another line. That's going to be around 11 degrees. What's half of 11? Make another line. And that's about 5.6 degrees. So the more each time you each time you split it up, you can make it more and more accurate. Just find a distance in between the two lines, make a little mark, and then count. It's about 5.6 degrees if you make 16 marks on there. 90 degrees divided by 16 is about 5.6. And then you go along like that. Okay. In the end, your sextant's going to look like this. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to line it up with the sun. Point or any object, celestial object. You can do the moon, stars, and you can tell how far above the horizon the object is. Bum, bum, bum. And that's the end. Check out the next video.